And this is the second archive for the dashboard exercise two. We have finished already uh, creating the first tab on the dashboard. We will work on the second tab now. Our dashboard uh, first tab looks like this. So we have added the four different, we've added first the radio button, the four different um, maps, and then details about the region, a selected region on the map appearing in, um, in a text box or a rectangular container uh, on the right. So this time we are going to the second tab and we are asked to add a drop down menu and a text bar chart for the saved organization. So the drop down menu is actually a combo box selector. So that we think so that we can do better. Okay, here is my selectors and I need to choose the combo box. We want the cycles to be select region. And your labels should be Australia. You actually have to um, enter, you can type them or you can um, choose these labels. Sorry. Yeah, the second tab actually. You need to go to the second tab of the extension. And they appear in V5. Should be 13. And we want the insertion type to be filtered growth. So I don't want a repetition of USA and Australia and so on. Okay, the reason I have for these regions are in V5 again, all the way to I13. That's my source data. And my destination will be inserted in B17. To I19. Because every region is only three um, 
three states or three cities, then I'm saying that they will be in whatever uh, region I select, the three respective states will appear in B17 to I19. Okay, so now we want to add the exact uh, um, bar chart. And you want to show cost discount and profit margin. for a particular region and your subtitle will be whatever they choose in B17. So this Australia then it will show cost discount profit margin for Australia. value of the axis in your You want the data to be by series, and you have like um, three of them, cost, so first one will be named uh, cost, and you just like click on the air, and type in cost. And the value for the cost are appearing in Age 17 to age 19. Then you're adding a new series and that is count. And the last is the profit margin. And 
Pr and F. 17 to F29. Uh, FR19. Now, everything looks fine except for the one, two, three that I see on the y-axis. So I want to change the category label to because these are like for the different sales organizations. So my category label should be C17 to C19. You want to change the color for class to make it green, for example, and, uh, blue for the discount. Lemon or yellow for the for the top margin, you can do that. Okay, we want now to preview. So I select USA. I see the state is in San Francisco, Oklahoma. And Illinois, Germany, Australia. Okay, we're going to go back. Want to add two pie charts? underneath them to show the sales for that region that I select and compare to the worldwide. So I'll go to the component. Now I want to add two pie charts.
You can add copies the pie chart and paste it to the right because I don't I, I go back to the components and add another one. We have now two pie charts. You want one to be called pie uh, region and the other one pie world. Go to your object browser. We're working on the other canvas. I have a combo box. You can um, and rename that one as region selected. bar chart and cost discount and profit margin. And the first bar chart high region. So I need like to change the title for the first pie chart to pie um, bytes sold in region. That would be the region that they select in B17. So right now it's saying by sold in region Australia. Your data will be in G17 to G19. And the specific organizations are in C17, C19. Gonna go to the theater. Okay. And for legend, and I like legend. I make sure that I make the size of the text smaller. Really eight. 
that you can see the actual content of the, the, the pie chart because the it was too big. We go now to the second pie chart. Let me make sure that they are aligned. Top aligned. Make them almost the same size, try and make them the same size. And this one, the title should be by sold worldwide. The data for the worldwide is in the map Excel sheet. So you go and locate um, E9 to E11. That's your number of five stores. And the regions that they are are in C9 to C11. And again, we'll go and change the text for the legend to make it a Okay, we want to also remove the background for the chart in place for the other one. And let's say in preview. Okay, it's not showing the region because we haven't selected it, so I choose USA. And now it's showing the data for the USA, and I go and change Germany. I see Berlin, Medford, and Munich, and Australia. Then I see Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney, and this is applying for both. The bar chart, the stack bar chart, and the and the pie chart. So, if you want the colors to go along with the stack bar chart, we we'll go back. 
Let's choose the black golden region. Change the color again to green. And blue. And yellow. Just like to afford is what you have on the back watch line. You want the background color, if you want to make it look like um, page 19. We have the ladies now in white. Now I understand why they asked us to change the label in white. We have the colors of black for the for the tab. Just thank you. The background color, I want to change it to green. The next color. Okay. 
son of David, and you are ready to submit, and please submit the XLS file, do not submit the PDF. Okay, that's all for the second dashboard exercise, so we've done two tabs. I'm hoping that in your group, you are starting to think about the different features that we have covered and how you would apply them to your specific uh, to your specific project. Thank you all, and I'll see you Wednesday.